In Evansville, three people are trying to figure out their next steps after a house fire on Monday night. The flames destroyed one home and heavily damaged the siding of the home next door. Iowa Suzanne Powell spoke with the homeowners and has a story tonight. Christopher Fenwick says his family is homeless but lucky. Within just 30 minutes, they lost everything in a fire on Monday night. And as they continue to look at their next steps, he says they are forced to live out of their car. I heard a hissing sound. Went in another room, stairs on fire, and it just went up so fast that, you know, we just had to get out. The fire broke out at 10 o'clock Monday night. This is video from that fire showing the home engulfed in flames. We have uh, three dogs, and lucky that, you know, we, got, we was able to get them out as fast as we could. Fenwick says the house was the last thing his father left him before he died. He was trying to fix up the house to make his kids proud and create a nice place to spend the holidays. After the fire, this is all that's left. I had to borrow shoes from the neighbors just so I could, you know, clean up debris. As Fenwick comes through debris, looking to see if anything survived the flames, he's thinking ahead to the future. He says he, his wife, and the three dogs are living inside their car. Hopefully we rebuild. And the fire also heavily damaged the home of Kendra Scott, who lives next door. Mine's mostly water and smoke damage, except for the back left corner. It's pretty bad damaged. On the side of Scott's house, you can see the melted siding and gutter and a blackened tree with a limb over the home. That's why we can't come in and stay here because they're worried about the tree limb falling. Scott has several cats, including some she was searching homes for. She says none were hurt in the fire. I took sticks to the Humane Society yesterday. They let me bring them in and bombard them with them. Thank God. I didn't want to. I'd rather give them good homes, but I have to do what I got to do. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting Nevinsville and Powell, Eyewitness News.